Hey guys, these are your notes on graph interpretation. Uh, so whenever we do labs, uh, from now on we're gonna be more often using Microsoft Excel to create graphs, okay? And those graphs are gonna help us come up with uh, conclusions with evidence for our CERs. So when you write an evidence section, you have to use um, the ideas presented in this video when he, whenever you have a graph, okay? In your lab reports from now on. So write down use for evidence section in lab reports, all right? And then there's four graphs we need to know, okay? So we in our lab reports, we might end up with either a, and you, you're gonna, if you wanna pause right now and just actually uh, copy down this table, you could do that and then we could restart and explain it. All right, so after you've paused, there's four kinds of graphs. There's a linear graph, an exponential graph, an inverse, and a no relation graph, okay? So when you make a graph on Excel, it's either gonna look like a straight line, a curving up line, uh, a sort of a U line like this, or a flat line that's not going up or down, okay? And uh, we're also going to be uh, using equations on Excel. So whenever you get a straight line, your equation's gonna look something like this. When you click on the equation on Excel, y equals uh, mx. m is, you know, the slope, but it could be any number, basically. Um, if it's exponential, where the line's curving up, uh, then your equation, when you go to Excel, is gonna, when you click add equation to graph, it's gonna look like y equals some number times x squared. So it's a little different than linear, the x gets squared. That's what makes the line curve up. Inverse is when uh, the variables do the opposite, the x and the y do the opposite of each other. So when x goes up, y goes down. And your equation name, when you go to Excel, it's gonna look like some number over x, so x is in the denominator, which makes x, when it goes up, y gets smaller, because it's in the denominator. And no relation, it doesn't even have an x, because uh, no relation basically is the idea that x has no effect on y at all, so it's just y equals some number, and y stays that number the whole time. But when you do a graph, you're gonna recognize, you're like, oh, that looks linear, and then you just use that row as your idea, okay? So whenever we create a graph in our evidence section, we're gonna say, well, that was linear. So as y increases, x increases at a constant rate. Now, when you do a lab, you're not gonna be using the words x and y. So we should write down this. So in evidence sections from now on, write descriptions, where are the descriptions? They're right there in that column. But replace X and Y with different variables. Replace X and Y with different variables. So maybe we're seeing uh, something like we, we've been doing distance time graphs. So we might say as distance increases, as time increases at a constant rate. You know, and so instead of saying X and Y, we're gonna say distance and time, if it was a distance time graph. If it was like accelerating like this, we're gonna say distance increases at an accelerating rate in our evidence section, okay? And we know that and we're gonna say because it was an exponential graph in our evidence section in our labs from now on. Or if it was inverse, we'll say as time increases, distance decreases instead of X and Y, okay? Um, so we're never gonna say X or Y in our description we put in our evidence section, but we are going to use this as a model where we could write a word instead of X and a word instead of Y, but basically write the same exact sentence there as a description of these graphs, okay? Uh, so the graph is gonna tell us exactly how things are related, and then you could just use this sentence in your evidence section uh, from now on.